What up guys, it is DJ Barbecue with Simon Taylor from Team GB doing a meat cake. So the, the World Butchers Challenge is the biggest butchery event in history. And because of that, we have to be a little bit secretive of our entries. This technically is the great British beef cake. We're gonna take a classic British piece of roasting beef and we're gonna make it into a cake. Normally we call it a corner cut. We're gonna take the piece of the corner cut muscle. Top side is more tender than silver side. Silver side's gonna give you more flavor. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top side slightly differently. We will save a nice roasting joint. So this is a, this is a local Belted Galloway piece of beef, beautiful piece of beef. Again, we, we don't wanna waste this. All these spare pieces, don't waste anything. It's all gonna go into to mini cakes. So I'm gonna square it up. So you're basically gonna square this off so it's nice and flat. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so the icing or whatever you're using as icing is yeah, fall off. Exactly. So just gonna remove that and again, not gonna waste that. That's gonna go into, into another dish. This would be what we would call the corner cut. Now the corner cut is great because the corner cut is one muscle. Right, that's so why. So we don't have the seams, whereas go. the other side of, of the top side you get the seams. We're gonna split it in half. We have our two layers of cake. We need filling. We'll have haggis. It's amazing what we don't eat these days that is actually really good for us. Well, it's, it's got a lot of the offal, right? It has got a lot of offal in it. I love offal yeah. and I love haggis. So, so we, all, we already eat meat. Um, let's not be wasteful. So in haggis, it, it's a mixture of, of flavorings and spices using parts of the animal that get wasted and we don't want to waste things. Nope. Never want to waste things. So we've got our, this is going to be, you know, don't worry, this is going to be the cream filling, but we need the jam. So the jam is going to be sweet. It's going to be caramelized onion chutney. We're going to, um, we're going to get the filling in. The filling is going to help us to even it out a little bit. Um, but we want some caramelized onion on there because one of the things we're really going to do is we're going to make sure that all the flavors in here work. Yes, we want to make a cake and we want it to, to look lovely, but it has to eat right. And we know onion's good with beef. We know haggis actually works really good as a stuffing with beef. Just going to do a nice round so that any lumps and bumps we've sort of, we've worked with. Now, we're just simply going to flip top on. Can I do it? Do it, honors are yours. Oh gosh. No pressure though. Yeah, no pressure. Right. Yeah, by saying no pressure. pressure. So, yeah. Is it the right size? Yeah, do you know what? You've, you've got it exactly right. Obviously, I've experimented with this, and it, when it cooks, we've, we've got loads of flavor, everything's right. But what we lose is structure. So, we needed another thing to, to work with this cake. So, you need something to hold it together. What makes everything better? Bacon! Bacon. This is a smoked bacon. Um, this is a British dry cure bacon that comes out of Smithfield. This is gorgeous. Um, it's good stuff. It's like a perfect it's piece good. of bacon right yeah. there. But this, this is good because we've got a good amount of fat. We want the fat, yeah. but we want a, a good meat structure. Um, I'm just going to start layering these around. When this cooks, it, it has a little form to it. So we're going to um, put some around the edge. So nice and stretch bacon, and that's just going to lap around. When this all cooks, it's just going to form a nice shell to our cake. So the, the classic British roast, we, you'd put uh, beef fat back on the beef. Right. But because we want to be different and we want to pack it with flavor. So this, the, ladies the and gentlemen, special is goodness. Ridiculous. This is lardo and it's uh, it's pork back fat. So all we're doing is we're just flattening this out because we need icing. Right. So before you we got here today, because this, this is quite labor intensive. I've sliced it down. You sliced yeah, down the lardo down. and built like I've, uh is this another is this another cage or another not a cage? Is this a, some kind of encompassing like bacon wrap? Yeah. But for lardo? Yeah. Okay. Where would we be without a cake stand? Yay, he's got a cake stand, a keeping cake. it legit. Oh, you went you went we, all out. We need the Simon. visual. We need the visual. <laughs> Um, so the meat cake is now about to get its icing of lardo. Simon. It's in, right. So we're gonna make sure we go nice and central. Center on and over. Now this requires a little bit of love. A little bit of coaxing. A little bit of love, a little bit of movement, making sure we cover it all. And la reveille. Doesn't look much like a cake. Okay, so now what are you gonna do, Simon? So I'm just gonna trim this up. Okay. Make it look pretty. Tidy, tidy, tidy. We need to make it look like a cake. So more flavor. So this, what we have here, is um, rose petals. Yeah, dried rose petals. So, so we've got classic British flavor again. We've got the rose. Um, 
And then because we're in the industry <laughs> and because not, uh, not most butchers would associate themselves with edible flowers. Next stage is we're going to dust the edge of the cake to make it look good with the rose. Two things, looks like a cake. Second of all, you get that flavor because it's gonna come through the fat. Sure. So it's good. That, basically when that fat starts to render down and cook, the, the flavors of the rose petals mm -hmm. will, will work their way in there. I mean, it's just like with salt. And yeah, and if, if you've not gone for this kind of flavoring before, it's, it's almost like your palm of violet. You, you get the aroma, which we all know helps with the flavor. It's good, it's good with beef. What I've actually done, I've, I've given these like a little light grinding just so they, they stick nicely. Because I want to be perfect. And we really wouldn't want anything and less. It has to be you. perfect. If it's well butcher's challenge, we can't, you know, can't be <laughs> wrong. So man. I, I think I've powdered this slightly too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some butter spray, <laughs> and I'm going to make some sticky sides. So I'm just going to yes. spray around the cake. So this is a visual thing. This is your glue, edible glue. Yeah, this is a visual because we can. Um, so then I'm just going to stick a few of the larger petals around to make that bit more of a crust. Ah. Okay, are you ready for this? Skills. Yeah, I'm good, right. Okay, so scoop and easy as that. I was gonna say easy as pie, easy as, <laughs> easy as cake. Easy as cake. Easy as cake. So, preheated oven, 180 degrees, couple of hours. So we got it, it's back, it's out of the oven. It's cooked. And you pulled it at what temperature? Uh, we went for 58. Yeah. We looked at it at 58 degrees, and then we've rested it, because it'll continue to cook, and we're now just over 60. Right. So, so just remember, when it comes out, it's always gonna keep going. And it's still gonna be blushing a bit. It's still gonna be blushing. That's what we it's want. Nice and pink. I want that blush. Mm -hmm. And you serve the edges to the well done people and keep the good stuff for yourself. So, fat should have melted away and we should have bacon goodness. Ooh wee! This is the best cake ever. Best cake known to man. Oh! Here we go. There's the blush. If they sold that in a cake shop, I would buy it. Oh my gosh. Boom. Cheers. You're welcome. All right. Good job mm. on the meat cake. Let's eat. Mm. Ah. Oh my gosh. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm just going in. Do it, man. I'm just going in. Oh. Right there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. That's so tender. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love haggis. Mmm. Full of flavor. It's pure, pure flavor. If you guys like this video and like what you saw with Simon, uh, please share, hit the like button, let your friends know about it. Well worth it. If you guys want to check out what Simon does, there's a link to his website down there below. Um, if you guys like some of the stuff you saw today, um, we got new aprons there now on the web store. And a little plug. I just got my book last week. I've, I've ordered mine. Yep. I've pre-ordered mine. It comes out April 19, mm -hmm. um, 2018, I, I think in most major countries. Um, this is Simon Taylor from uh, Team uh, Great Britain. Team GB, thank um, you. Christian Stevenson from DJ Barbecue. That's the meat cake. Cheers. Thanks for having us, bro. No worries. Later, man.